but we already know we go again i mean zero almost got us past the dragons that was a pretty sick run but you can't always get what you want i think it might be time for some axton give me some of the ridge the initial blow I, I don't want to be so precise i want to blow stuff up sorry for and sniper max capacity mm, snooze Let's go. Oh, a torpedo assault rifle? I mean, it consumes four ammo per shot. Might not be... Oh, there we go. Grenadier. Class mod to start. I mean, every... Assault, actually, assault rifle max ammo could be sick. Now that I'm thinking about it. This thing's gonna eat ammo. Oh, a spitter! Yeah, let's go! Okay, this is the run. The zero run had to die so that this run could live. Simple as that. Okay, so let's get let's get organized here. Spitter number one. I'm gonna go the spitter over the torpedo. Sorry. Might not be the most popular decision, but we're looking pretty thick with it already. Let's take impact. That way we can get to Metal Storm next. Pretty simple. And yeah, sure, this, the Grenadier is down here, but we're gonna be replacing it with the blue class mod. This could be the assault rifle run we've all been waiting for. Alright, turret out. That's not bad damage for round one. That's not bad damage for round one at all. But is it, it's probably going to be... This one consumes four ammo per shot, which means it's going to be high deeps. I hate when they just charge at me with that that spinning thing on. It's like General Grievous and Obi-Wan Kenobi. Like, what am I supposed to do, brother? EXP loader? We can kill him before he gets here. And we're consuming four ammo per shot with this, which means it's going to be super high damage. Back up. Hey, you... Okay, you're both EXP loaders. Come on, now. Come on, brother. Gone. Now, that should be the last of the EXP loaders, at least for right away. No, there's one right there. But that's The reason why this is 15 instead of 10 is because the EXP loaders are bound to fall. We need to get some crits. Oh, that hurts. That hurts me. Come on, brother. Let's go down. Turn it out. Hopefully that will absorb some damage for me. Nice. I need that healing real quick. Real quack. Crouch. You're gone. 10 out of 15. Looking nice. Gun loader over there. Some more healing. Crouch. Oh, I'm taking damage now. Tons of it. Ah! Uh, I'm scared. Slag, please. There we go. Spitter. Oh, how about a launcher? Okay, not bad. When in doubt, launcher out. Get behind here, crouch. Oh, wow, that would have hit me too. Two. Not bad. 14 out of 15. And one more hot loader, then I'm good. One. Two. Huge. Let's go. Very, very nice. And hopefully we can get some good stuff here. We got a pressure plate. A revenant. I'm looking for something that's better at slag and swaps. The scatter gun ain't happening. The metal storm, on the other hand, yeah, it is happening. I right, pressure plate me. Let's see a rock rifle, a coach gun. This T door probably goes hard. I'm gonna try the rock rifle, even though I don't believe in it. Maybe, maybe it's got some juice. I, I think the spitters are better than the rack rifles. Could be me, though. I mean, I, I should open this up, but it just never has anything good, yeah. Last red chest, and we can move on from round one. Let's see, that's... Oh, a skull masher. Whoa, whoa, brother. I can buff this thing up, too, with not elemental damage. And there's a Vladov Rocketeer. Let's just... I'm gonna shoot this thing just for a second. Is this thing not gonna be better than the Spitter? I'm not too sure. Let's keep it moving, though. Yeah, Skullmasher could be sick. Alright, what do we got? Kill enemies? Simple enough. 
What do we got? A slob slag singularity. Home sticky homing transfusion. I think that's gonna be a kind of our ticket for the early game here. Third out, so hopefully he stands still. Good skull match, brother. This thing is more like a, a shotgun, right? How does this thing work? Later, kid. That's bad accuracy. Crits are nasty with a skull masher, got it. Oh. There we go. Whoa, whoa. Hey, don't do that. If crits are nasty, how come that field rat survived one? Let's see. Max health or max grenade count? Mm, max grenade count's really good on Axon. So I might, I might think about it. See, uh, yeah, see, look, that guy survived a crit. Go down, brother. Okay, so we, we tried the skull match route enough. I think, I think maybe we, we don't run it for now. Let's try a rock rifle. That seems pretty good. Need a better reload speed, but other than that, it seems pretty dang good. That's their hardest to snipe in the game. <laughs> yeah, if they're so hard to snipe, then when I do land a crit, I should be able to kill them in one shot. But if your lifetime and melee override, nope. This rock rifle seems pretty nice. Let's try the spitter out. Yeah, to be fair, the part's pretty bad in that match. Okay, that makes sense. It felt pretty trash. Let's kill one of these rats. I don't care which one it is. If we can just kill one of them, please, Spitter. Gosh, man. I got to throw a grenade. Oh, loot enemy. That's the one we want to kill. So now we got some Metal Storm. Very nice. Give me back my turret. What's that bad, Larry, right there? Minigun? It's not going to be shooting explosive, those. Okay. What is that? No, we're good without it. Next points, uh, we're going to take steady. Oh, my hacks. <laughs> Met is best skill for real. Yeah, a metal storm is super nice. Metal storm kind of pops off. Um, I have a Torg launcher. I think I should be fine. What I really want is a flacker. I tried the flacker. Can you guys tell me? If this works, if I run Flacker right hand and Torg launcher left hand on Gunzerker, do I get the the extra bonus damage? I was trying it, it wasn't working. How does that how does that Oh, there's there's a pressure plate by that last door. Dang. That's okay though. I wanna try this uh So torpedo? No, I wanted to try this flat off rocket here. Does this count as explosive damage? Yeah, it does. Sick. Let's toss that down. Oh, there's a there's a legendary in that chest right there. What is it? The Logan's gun. Does this count as explosive damage? What about when I shoot it at their feet? I thought it I thought it like pierced the ground and blew up. Yeah, launcher left hand. If I put the, if I put the launcher in the left hand on Gunzerker, and I shoot the flacker, a, a Torg launcher, I should get the bonus damage, right? It might require you to have less ammo. Okay. Well, why don't we just use this T door for a second? See ya. Boss, goodbye. Boss, good. No, 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 no. You gotta go before you heal up. Thank you. Axton could have really used. Oh, Axton could have really gone for a uh, a grenade, a grenade healing thing. Oh, the Logan's gun's only good for Shamrock regen. Okay. Because I was able to do the Torque rocket launcher with Flack, with the Flacker, um, by swapping on Axton, and the and the rocket was not empty on ammunition. But when I tried it today on Salvador, it wasn't working, and there has not been an update to the mod or to Borderlands 2. So you guys tell me what I'm doing wrong. 
It's not coming out for a bunch of days, though. I also tried a new uh, thumbnail style where I have, like, the border, like, Jotes Dude's videos. Like, the border on the top and the bottom, like, when you first fight an enemy in Borderlands. Like, the little name card that pops up. I think it adds a nice little lo layer of depth to my thumbnails. It also lets me throw in some more color. Yeah, holding the launcher changes things usually. Okay, there we go. Yeah, TD TDR t shucking is just so, so good. All right, now what are we looking for? None of these. Yeah, none of those. Sorry. It's like, well, you're using an SMG. Why don't you use the SMG one? No, miss me with that. Trust me. Just trust, okay? Now, the, the assault rifle... The assault rifle magazine size is nice. But the reload speed on everything is nicer. Use up all the ammo for money shot bonus. And yeah, torque launchers, but make sure it's high damage because if it's low damage, then it'll do less. Oh. Oh, that could have been it. Yeah, because when I tried it on accident, I had the creamer and I had the world burn as options. So that could explain it. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. Looking good. I might have to do a quick pause here. Let's keep it moving. What are we looking for? We are looking for um, a Grenadier class mod. Again, this is this is how I like to play action. Just blow stuff up. And more TDR weapons, pistols, uh, shotguns, the reloads, this seems not so great. So. Here we go, what do we got? Slag damage, okay, if we, if we get a slag damage, it'll be good. A slag damage TDR or something like that. We're moving and grooving. And yes, it's not assassin only, thank God. Well, I'd rather get him early than late, so... Maybe it's not, I thank God. Let's shoot the first tire. We have to take one shot anyway. One shot. Oh, hey, don't do that. Hey, stop. what in the world? Right, now I take a million damage. Thanks a lot for jumping away from me, brother. No, this is what you get. No, that's... Are you serious? Where? Oh, no, this is not good. Oh, dear Neptune, the barrels. Wait, hold on. The barrels. No, you die. Red. Okay, okay. Whoa. Oh, I'm dead. That's it. I'm not dead. I'm alive. No, now I'm definitely dead. Hey, don't, don't run too far, brother. Thank you. I need to throw a transfusion grenade out. A couple, tra a couple transfusion grenades to heal me back up. Maybe there'll be health in here. There's not. That's tough. Stop chasing me so hard, brother. I need to chuck my, my, my uh, SMG at you. Rob's also pretty strong. Yeah, but he's not. He can be strong, but he's not going to be assassin only levels of tankiness. Especially because Oni uh, resists explosives. Stop doing that trash. My right, bucket number two right there. Where am I stuck on? Let me take Bomber again. This one of the toughest enemies, honestly. See ya. Oh, you dodged it. You think you can just jump around like that? Now you die. So yeah. Oh, I, that took a lot of damage there. It's also a transfusion grenade. This time we just shoot. There we go. Transfuse, transfuse me, brother. Transfuse me. That's an explosive damage relic, right? No, pistol damage. I might take it just in case. You want to put the flacker in the left hand. Oh, okay. See you later, brother. Uh, TDR. Faster reload speed, but less magazine size. You know what that means. It means snooze. Toss. Toss. Oh, don't stop juking, brother. Oh, I'm out of ammo, though. Gotta be careful now. 
Where where did he go, man? My turret's dead. This could be the end of the run right here. If I'm not careful. Hit crits, hit crits, hit crits. Toss out transfusion grenade, toss out transfusion grenade. Hit crits. Transfuse me, please, now. Let's give the end of the run right here. Nomad Tyrants. Hopefully they die. Okay, we're good. Hide. Die, brother. Oh, not good, not good. You got a shield back? Come on, where's the death? Oh, he's one hit from death. That guy's stopping me from getting over to him, though. I think I just threw my turret off the cliff. <laughs> I might go on full cooldown. Nice. Okay, he's gone. A grenade! Oh! oh. Okay. Very nice. What did you drop me? A true lane. <laughs> Thanks, brother. I really want a true lane. Dang it. You could go assault rifle class mode. It's possible. Let's take a little bit of... I like shield recharge. I like that skill. We're looking alright. What do we got? A Prowler? It's only slightly less damage. Got a much bigger fire... Uh, much bigger... Max size. On top of that... It... Um... Can slack. If we open this up, is there anything in here? Oh, there's a red chest in here. I've actually never gotten this one. Maybe I'll never come back. Look at that last bucket. I'm looking for better grenades and a better shield. The two things that the, these uh, buckets can give me. Bucket. Bucket. Let's see. Lobbed Merv. About a big adaptive shield, that'd be good. Lobbed incendiary singularity. Reverise Merv. I think the only thing here that I'm considering is the is the Merv, but it's a three second fuse time. <laughs> Dino. Now I'm talking about mustaches and shit, and all the ladies like it. I actually shaved today as well, but I shaved often. When I was in the Marine Corps, we shaved every day. I remember one day I was mad because they made us do a bunch of, like, martial arts training that, like... Like, I'm, I'm down for martial arts training, but, like, the person leading it was, like... He was going really, really hard. Like, he was trying to, like, reshape all of our mental, like, our, our minds, like... The same way that, like, your first day of high school might. Of, uh, like, high school sports or something like that, where they, like, try to really break you down like back to boot camp type stuff like i didn't shave that the next morning because we were in we were in kuwait at the time and so we actually trained at night time and during the day uh during the day we just kind of let our bodies absorb sunlight to get used to the hot weather but um well that was nice Just to keep tossing but yeah they, they were trying to act like really tough like really hard and it's just I was I was mad so I didn't shave. My boss was like, "Hey, Wilder, well, you didn't shave today. What's going on?" I was like, "Ah, I like caught, caught." I got in trouble, so I told him the truth. He's like, "Yeah, like I get it. I get what you're saying, but all of the younger Marines are looking at you, and you're not shaving, so they're gonna not kind of shave." I was like, "You know what? That makes sense. Maybe I should shave." So let's see what we got here. We got ourselves a twister, which oh, how about a spitter? Another one. A Twister, I believe, scales off grenade damage as well as regular damage. A Hulk or a Prowler? We'll take a Hulk. Yeah, I mean, I, got, I ended up getting my belt. I got, I think that was my green belt. So you start, you leave boot camp with a white belt. You earn your, you can, and then at that point, you don't need to do any more. But the better your belt, the more likely you are to promote. So I got my gray belt, got my green belt, and then I stopped there. Let's see. Um, let's take Onslaught, and next time we'll take Grenadier. Very nice. Yeah, I got a Heartbreaker as well. Yeah, we'll slap on the Heartbreaker. Where did that, where did that puppy go? Okay.
Okay, we're looking good. Let's go Heartbreaker number two for extra healing. I could go Rock Salt, but I'm not going to. Looking okay. Yeah, I, I mean, I liked martial arts training, especially when I got, like, you know, decent at it. When I was on deployment, we didn't do, like, a lot of official martial arts, but we did a lot of ground fighting. Just, you're not technically allowed to do it without, like, a martial arts instructor there. But my... But my boss, like, he really didn't care. Like, he's been on a bunch of combat deployments. He has his... He had his combat action ribbon, which is, like, the one you actually get... Um for being like legit in combat and taking fire and stuff like that so he, and he was just and he was also jacked out of his mind so everybody listened to him most of the time and it's just it's like when he told you hey we're gonna do martial arts today you didn't you didn't question it all right what you got from me michael i think we might we might be looking at maybe doing some pulls of the box here what do you got for me? Slayer, Terra, Morphous. Okay, Legendary Soldier class mod's good. One more pull at the box, I think. Another... Oh, more class mods, bro. Okay, it's better than mine. I would like a, you know, a, a run-defining weapon. Okay, a B-Shield could be good. Yeah, me too, Evan. If Yeah, they pay for my schooling as well. Okay, so we're going into this fight. We have decent grenade. We have decent scaling with, with this, with these damage skills. My primary issue is going to be running out of ammo because I, I, I took three hits of the box. Let's take some points into shotgun damage and design our character. Be back in a sec. All right, we have a plan. We're going to be running the twister and then TD your reloads after. Hopefully, this is going to be enough. We're going to try to group. Maybe group, group these enemies up. Um, let's see. Legendary Soldier class mod is probably going to be the best for us. Now, do we have a Singularity grenade? I do. A Lob Slag Singularity. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. All right, shoot him. All right, now his, his boys spawn in. A little bit early on that. A little bit early on that Slag grenade. On that, on that Singularity grenade. Alright, toss one more right there. There we go. Now they're pretty well grouped up. I'm just gonna take some shots at them now. I wish I had boar. Does the does the twister shoot through enemies? Like if I shoot through these guys, will they will they will hit them all? Oh yeah, it definitely does. My frames. Oh, I'm one hit, I'm one hit, I'm one hit. I have a heartbreaker. Swap to a heartbreaker. Get me up, brother. A lot of grenades anyway. Wow, I'm one hit. I'm one hit from dying. That's okay. Keep it up, Twister. You're doing great. Oh, juke, 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 juke. Now, what I need to do is maybe. I mean, I might. The runners might die here. It's the problem. Yeah, boar action would go insane. Now, what I need more than anything right now... I mean, this Swisher is kind of popping off. I'm not going to lie to you. It's doing so much damage to him per shot. Oh, not if I miss. Okay, run back to these laddies. Okay, pass on through. I like how I can damage them all at once. Regardless of which one is in front of me. Now, I'm out of grenade ammo and shotgun ammo, so I'm going to run around. Yes, yes. Okay, no grenades there, though. Running around to get some ammo. Maybe I will get some grenades. Do 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 do. Everybody's ready to play rogue lights and maybe play the second Hades. That's Hades for the uninformed. The do 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 do. <laughs> Let's see. A sticky homing transfusion is going to be helping us out here a little bit. We got a lot of shotgun ammo back, so let's do it up. Let's do it up. Not bad. Let's just shoot through them all. Transfusion grenade me. Whoa, brother. Go down. 
I have a B shield. I could rock it, but not right now. This guy, this he shreds rage people are too quickly. All right, so that is the first raid boss down. Slayer Terramorphus, no thank you. But it's having a high powered, an actualizer, a slag one though. That could be Dees. I think we give it a shot. I know it's not a TDR or whatnot, but it is what it is. This is a lot more legendary loot than I'm used to. And it's all Slayer of Terramorphous class mods. <laughs> Oh, something over there, though. Could be a Seraph Crystal. Oh, yeah. Sh shoot the Twister, then swap shop, swap the Heartbreaker. That would have been s smart. All right. We can move on. I think it's, yeah, it's Slayer Terry Morphous Class Mod. Hit tab. An Evolution or an Evolution? Well, <laughs> it looks like our, our mind is made up for us. I think... The only thing that this one's worse at is recharge rate. Nice to use that. So, let's rock an evolution. Let me go next. I like that. That's a good drop. The evolution's a good drop. I like the beatdown. I think this is... Yeah, this one. This one's nice. This one's... This one's almost therapeutic in a way. Because, the, like, you, you take the trust jump and, the, like, the platform, platform spawns under you. It's nice. Nice. Okay. Let's go. I would have preferred maybe a Slaga instead of an Actualizer, but... We're okay. We're going to Tier 2. Let's keep it moving and grooving. What is it, what's y'all's stance on um, PvP versus PvE games? If you had a choice between deleting PvE or deleting PvP games, which one would you... Delete. And you only had the other one. Now that's I personally, I think, I think PVE games have the longevity. Over, P, over PvP games. Because PvP games, once the player count runs out, the game dies. PvE games, you could play them forever. Let's see. Captain Blade's auto idle. I never give the auto idle a, a try. Because it reduces my it reduces my fight for my lifetime. But I kinda wanna try it. This one. Oh, let's take that and just let's just zoom through the stage. Ow. I wanna say thank you to the auto idle. Come on, spawn in, brother. Thank you. Nobody's up here. Where's everybody at? Oh yeah! Ow. <laughs> hey, go away. Is it all gonna? It's gonna say, is it all EXP loaders or am I gonna get something else? Yeah, I'm just a bigger fan of PVE PVE games in general. Like Borderlands over Call of Duty for me. <laughs> but I like I like League of Legends. All right, decrease fight for my lifetime. Didn't didn't hurt us there. Okay, neither one of those is going to be the one we take. Let's take Grenadier now. Now, we need, we need to get ourselves a nice high-powered grenade. Once we get that, we'll be chilling. The auto idle, for those who do not know. The auto idle. It returns 6.6% .6 of your health on, on kill. I've seen it get higher. But the curse is that you get reduced fight for your lifetime. Now, in Borderlands 3, the auto idle is a relic or an artifact or whatever. It goes in that same slot. Um, I think we might need another, uh, another TDR. But it, it shoots, it shoots three times. I don't really want it. I think we're good. Yeah, in Borderlands 3, the auto idol gives you 10% of your health back without the reduced fight for your lifetime. So it's like kind of weird for me to go from that one, using that one, because I, I play Moe's. On Moe's, auto idol is pretty legit. Let's kill this guy. Kill him. So yeah, see how I'm getting a little bit of health regen? Don't fall that way, brother. 6.6% .6 is not so bad. On kill. This The fight for your lifetime reduction is kind of rough. Especially if I start going down in spades. So I'm actually going to take it off. Just in case. 
and we can put back on let's put back on max grenade count it's the only one that helps us right now to be honest with you cost me cost someone send just some transfusions out just to heal us back up okay what about we do a fire swap come on we tried you saw that we tried team fire rate I mean, we have a legendary soldier class mod i think it might be a little bit better than any of the grenadiers that we get oh wow in chat people are talking trash about all the new cods okay to be fair i want, I want to be perfectly fair i think modern warfare 2019 was a lot of fun and my buddies have fun with resurgence nowadays but Yeah, I mean, the old CODs like OG MW2. I mean, come on. That's that's the GOAT. MW3 is good, too. Okay, we get the... The Twister plus, like, the, 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 the penetration on it so I can hit multiple enemies is super nice. No one's, no one's closing the gap on me quite yet. Okay, okay. Our shield's gone, but it regens super fast. We're playing Axton. Go down. Very nice. Run away. I hear a grenade. Huge. Games that let you farm are my favorite. Yeah, games that you can farm are super, super fun. I like chasing that loot. The hardest part for me in a Borderlands game is that you really have to be incredibly smart to really pull it off. Let's take one point in sentry. And that way, when we get double up, they'll the last longer. In order to get past the hardest difficulties, you have to really like know what you're doing. And I get that's like a good thing, but not when the interactions in the game are hidden. You know what I'm saying? Like, the fact that in order, you don't need to use a grog nozzle, but the grog nozzle is a mission reward that you don't complete the mission to keep it forever. That's unhealthy to me. Wait, this, wait, which Hyperion Shotty? Oh, yeah, the ones I just, the one I just looked past that, I mean, it is what it is. It doesn't have explosive damage scaling, so. And the Grog Nozzle giving, like, the, the drunk effect is cool, though. I mean, that, I just wish the gro- I think they- didn't they add a way to- uh, Oh, Lou Midget! You're going down, brother. You're going down. No, 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 no. It's not gonna be me. Oh, you're- you're pinned. Uh, it's slag. Oh, that's not- that's not the slag weapon I want. Slag. Scroll twice, back to Twister. And now you're done. Yes, sir. What'd you drop me? Hey. Hey, what'd you drop me? <laughs> under my turret there is no way he didn't drop anything good it's a loot midget he's put what grog was farmable during an event during the dragon's release ah okay okay so wait so we just got the, the worst loot midget in the history of loot midgets or what is it inside this box right here hmm well we tried we can go next Slag being almost needed to do anything also sucks. Yeah, having to use slag, I mean, that's a, a big part of what makes Rolands fun for me is the fact that slag is nerfed and scaling is nerfed. But for me, it is like it added another thing that's like is required. Like healing is basically required because you can't avoid damage in Borderlands games the way you can other games. What is that? Pellet count for a short time? Sure. But we're gonna not we're not gonna use our uh, shoddy. We're gonna use something a little bit more accurate. Cause we get one shots anyway, so we might as well. Ultimate badass was has been flash in the pan, as Epic Energy would say. Dude, what do you guys think about the? Okay, what do you guys think about the content creator drama in the Borderlands community? Morning after kill versus Killer Six versus Epic Energy. Dude, I follow it. I, I'm gonna be completely honest. I follow it. 
I know what's going on. You're going down, brother. No, 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 no. You up there? You can't deal damage to you now. A relic me. Let's see. Blood of... We're going to take Blood of the Ancients. It's going to be a little bit better. Incendiary damage. I snooze. I think I already got one. Is anyone here informed about the Killer 6 versus Morning After Kill? Okay. You guys... Uh, I have... I can give you a rundown. I mean, there might be more information than what I have. That looks pretty nice. There might be more information... ...than what I have. Um, but... ...basically... ...when... ...when the Borderlands, the pre-sequel, was launching... ...Gearbox slash 2K, and this can be kind of one entity... But 2K was involved with the marketing, so it's really their strategy. When it was launching, they offered more than Afterkill a contract to... to It was going to be $3,000 a month to play Borderlands the pre-sequel. And I believe they also got... They also were supposed to stream once a week on the official Borderlands YouTube channel. And for small creators, that's or a uh, Twitch channel. And for small creators, that's phenomenal because you get put your name out there on the official Borderlands channel. People come to watch you play and stuff like that. For bigger creators, it's more of a chore, whatnot. Anyways, in that clause, inside that contract, there were a couple clauses. One was a non-disparagement clause, which means you can't talk trash about the game. But also in that contract, it said that he couldn't make Destiny 2 or Destiny videos. Which is very interesting. That show it's very telling about how 2K felt about their game, and felt how they felt about the release of Destiny, the first ever other looter shooter to ever come out. So, anyways, more than kill made a video about that, um, about how he was. They tried to pay him off, and he said no, blah blah blah. And now he made he made way more than 3K a month, you know, doing his own thing. Which yeah. Anyways, that's that's just the context. The actual drama comes from Borderlands 3 launched. That. Gearbox and 2K, they went with the same strategy where we're going to pay off content creators. Um, we're going to pay off content creators to one, not talk bad about our game. And, you know, there are rules involved. Like, you have to make sure you put, like, a hashtag ad. And Killer6 was putting hashtag ad in his videos, and so, so were the other content creators. But according to the Morning After Kill, he didn't make it evident enough in the video, right? You also have to, inside the video, say, Hey, thank you very much for the sponsorship, 2K. Thank you for the for the sponsorship, Gearbox. Like, make it very evident. I might go down here. Make it very evident to everybody watching. Can this guy stop running around so much? Jeez, brother. That's it. That it is, in fact, an ad. And I don't want to go into the. I don't know enough about whether or not they were, um, displaying it properly or not. In more than Africa's video, he's convinced. That they did not, um, Killer Six specifically did not make it clear enough inside the video that he was being paid. But that's not even where the drama starts. So some of these some of these content creators took the money. Uh, Killer Six, I think Joltstu took the money. Um, I think some other creators took money. But they created a group. 2K created a group called the Next Makers. So the Next Makers were the creators inside that group that were getting paid and these next makers would get special considerations they would they were allowed into discord calls where they would talk about the future of the game and give input on the game um they were invited to events they were basically on the good side of the of the developers they were and they and they they lifted that torch like if you there was an incident where there was a when arms race came out and there was a glitch a red chest uh, uh no not, not a red chest glitch but there was a glitch where you could get your twitch viewers a ton of free gear using the using the systems in the game now people were some there's a content creator named be flattened who was doing this glitch on twitch and getting high viewership and the next makers group the keepers of the community turned on him. Uh, Epic NNG specifically turned on him. And said that, you know, you, like, you've made enemies to people you haven't even met yet. Like, I can't believe you did this. Like, basically telling him that if you ever wanted to collab, it's not going to be possible because you've made a bunch of enemies. Um, 
then that this is all a bunch of information but where where this really came to a head was when the next makers got into a discord call with a 2k manager to discuss some uh, ways to help the game uh gain more players because they were getting data that people were quitting the game after mouthpiece so borderlands 3 the tutorial boss's mouthpiece people were quitting the game after mouthpiece so this 2k marketing manager in this discord call um where more than after kill was invited i believe killer six wanted more than after kill there and it kind of stuck out his neck for him a little bit in this discord call more than after kill said oh uh people people are leaving the game after mouthpiece um well and then the 2k the 2k marketing manager said the reason they're not uh, they they are assuming that the reason people are stopping playing is because they're not doing enough damage. They're like, oh, I don't do enough damage. This game's not fun. And so the 2K marketing manager's resolution to this was to ask the content creators to make guides online. Okay, that was their strategy. We're going to get the next makers in a Discord call and ask them to make guides online. Mornaptico goes, well, how come you just don't put a mission in the game? Like you had in Borderlands 2, the mission that teaches you how to use the elements. And the 2K marketing manager said, you can't just add things to the game. This call isn't about things. It's not about you know getting patches of the game it's about us reaching out to you guys to make guides anyways the call didn't go over so well and let's just say more than after kill who did not have a a a non-disclosure agreement so he could talk about the game as much as he wanted he went out and he said hey look by the way this is what happened in the call and but there's also a battle pass and that's true there was a bat they were in that call they also were pitching a battle pass Let's see, do we want increased pellet count or do we want ammo regen? Let's take increased pellet count. I think we'd be a little bit better. Two, one, take. Well, I don't think the snowman's going to get to us by the time that the, our, our projectiles are, are uh, still active, but we can try. So this Discord call goes down and Morton after go gets a bunch of information and he spreads it to the public. And 2K is not happy with that. And Killer6 had an opportunity to either verify the information or to discredit the information, and he chose to discredit the information, essentially calling more than after kill a liar. And I, in my opinion, I think that well, they they put the battle pass in the game in the in the form of vault in the vault hunter cards. In my opinion, I feel like Killer Six was probably just like he, he was maintaining his status as like the good the good child by doing it, but at the same time he was a he was betraying a friend. Oh, he's immune to shock damage. I gotta be maybe this heartbreaker this guy. So he was kind of betraying a friend by saying that Killer6 was lying. And so Killer6 turned on him. And so now Killer6, I'm sorry, yeah. It's now more than after kill. Almost all of his videos, not almost all, like a good chunk of his videos are just ripping apart Killer6. Like, it's so funny to watch. Like, it happens all the time now. And I watch them just because they're so juicy and they're actually packed full of information. But like... That's the drama right now, and it's like the, some of the biggest content creators in the in the space, you know, beefing. And they've been beefing for a while. So it is awkward to have more than after kill, like non-stop trashing Killer Six, but it also is it is weird to turn on your friends like that. Like more than after kill was the Borderlands news guy, and Killer Six discredited him and called him a liar, essentially. It's like, yeah, that, that kind of hurts. I, I definitely get where more than after kill is coming from. And it's so, something that I've uh, thought about, and I don't want to... There was... I read a book. It was called Man's Search for Meaning by Viktor Frankl. And in Man's Search for Meaning by Viktor Frankl, he discusses life inside of the concentration camps in Auschwitz. And he discussed a strategy that the Germans used where they, re they rewarded... Jewish prisoners um, who tattletailed on their own people. It, like, if people were breaking the rules, if you tattletailed, you would be greatly rewarded. And this is a this is how they managed to maintain order in the camps for a large part. Uh, and the next makers to, to me, they it feels like they were being used in a similar way. There's a Cobra there, by the way. Um, that could be fun. A lightning bolt grenade? 
Nah, I think I'll pass. Man, these are kind of trash weapons, right? Where these next makers were being used to police the community when the community didn't need policing. As far as I know, the contracts, the non-disparagement non contracts, didn't force them to say that the call was fake. They just could have said nothing. I mean, it's kind of hard to say nothing if everyone's coming at you being like, Hey, what, what is this? What is this? What is this? So I get it. But it, it feels to me like the next makers community was going above and beyond non-disparagement clauses. They were actively stopping other people from enjoying the game. Like, Epic Energy, for instance, makes fun of people for putting red arrows in the thumbnail. Like that, it's like, uh, I don't, like, everyone, oh, bonus package, huge. All right, let's empty out some of my inventory. I'll, I'll pause it. <laughs> I'll pause it so we can stop talking about Jama here for a second. All right, y'all ready? Boom, nice. All right, so let's take this bonus package. What else are we going to get? More class mods. Legendary soldier, legendary soldier. How much do I need? I think... I think I'm going to want to max out my grenades. Max out my grenades. Max out shotgun. I don't have enough for another pull anyway, so... Let's keep it going. Pistol, why not? And we can go into our second raid boss fight. Hopefully Terramorphous. Okay, let's, that's fine. We have a twister for Kromor Max. That's fine. Now we have a bonus package, so we can... We can swap to Heartbreaker and go bonus package. But first I want to slag my glag. All right, turret out. Bonus package. Bonus package, slag. How much damage is that going to do? Good chunk. Good chunk. Is that chunk going to be more worth than having a transfusion? I'm not sure. All right, how much damage is this going to do? That's the question. At the end of the day, it's all about the twister. Come on, shoot, shoot those purple things, brother. We're depending on our shield a lot here. Not bad, not bad. Oh, I thought maybe one of those would get a crit. This is what it is, though. Actualizer might be good for these rounds, for these little enemies. Yeah, that's pretty good. Not enough damage, though. Maybe a bonus package? Nice. Okay, they all died. I'm not against using a bonus package. Let's focus up here. Okay, he's back. Let's bonus package these fools and then swap to a twister. And try to land some crits. Yes, right in front of me. Yes, that's huge. Okay, looking all right, looking all right. He's gonna go up, but he's gonna hit me on the way back down. But we're gonna put ourselves against the wall so we can't knock us off the edge. Not bad. Get some crits, brother. Might have to throw a bonus package down as well. Giant crab, cra craboid, you're going down. We're running out of blammo, but we can always kill more enemies to get blammo. I'm not too worried about it. All right, Craw, heal back up. That's fine. Is there a way to stop Craw from healing up? Okay, here we go. See, our, our, our ammo is higher than when we started, and we never even swapped, so. These guys spawn ridiculous amounts, though. Oh, don't, don't, don't go into that, brother. The Varkids. Toss the turret down. Okay, that's good deeps. Run towards the wall. Not bad. We want to get the entire Twister to pass through his body. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, actually, recently to, to continue on our conversation, Killer6 did a, a like an all achievements on Borderlands 1 with a with Roland, 
and Morn Afterkill straight up called him a liar in a video, said that he had either a mod or his son play for him in order to beat it, because he, he's like, he was pointing out differences in, in movement and, uh, in, in differences in choices in combat. It's like, this doesn't look like Killer6's gameplay, it looks like somebody else. Especially because Killer6 didn't do it on a stream. So I'm just, this, that, like, that is a bold accusation, but what if he's right? What if he's right? Do I, really, do I really care about that one as much? No, not really. But it's just something funny. We could be die here for sure. Let's go Heartbreaker. Heartbreaker bonus package combo. Oh, well, Varka Incinerator, I can't really damage you. Let's keep it going with the Twister. Now, my last action run, I had a peak opener and I still failed, so I'm not too sure if it, oh, I'm going to be successful here, but it is what it is. I'm out of bonus packages. I'm trying to heal back up. But it looks like he's invincible for so long. Alright, Twister me. Let's just keep... Dude, he's in... Is he bugged? He's still on the stage, but he's... He's invincible. Please just, like, do your reset, brother. I'm only at 11 bullets. I need to get a kill. Thank you. Oh, I'm getting dragged in. Dude, I think he's bugged out. I think this is a bugged out fight. I can't damage him, and he can't, and he's not switching phases. That's a little bit insane. Been a good run, though. Yeah, he can't take damage right now. I don't know how to damage him. I'm hoping that one of these times when he drops to the ground and comes back up that he'll be damageable, but it doesn't look like he's going to be. He can be slagged, but he can't be damaged. Hmm. All right. Well, I'll give it a little bit more time here. Yeah, just, that sucks. I'm just gonna let this guy kill me to finish off a conversation. There is a lot of uh, drama in the BL3 community. But I don't, I don't necessarily blame the people themselves. I think the company kind of put people in, in awkward situations. I don't even want to get a kill. Like, Craw is just annoying the bejesus out of me with this infinite invincibility. So, you know what? Whatever. I'm not, I'm not even giving the satisfaction. We're going off the edge. G. G.